comedian of the year, and he just recorded an hour-long special for the comedy channel. So, without any further ado, Kelly Taylor. Thank you guys very much for coming out. Thank you. I like, um, it's, it's good to be here. I mean, actually, inside the building, because that's a nice shit smell you have outside. <laughs> that's nice. Whoever farted has awesome hang time. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's a great smell out there. It's good. Uh, yeah, I am from Canada. And it's so stereotype. As soon as you're from Canada, what does everyone say? They're like, so you just drink beer and like hockey? I also like peach schnapps. <laughs> That's good. I actually used to play hockey too before I got to stand up. I was a goalie. I had a career ending injury, couldn't play anymore. True story. I took a slap shot um, in the left one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not having my crush nut. <laughs> and, but, and people are like, oh my god, that ended your hockey career, you couldn't play anymore? Physically, I could still play. It's just my goaltending sucked after that. <laughs> Nobody really wanted me on their team. Because I wasn't about to lose the other one. I was like, go oh, ahead, you can take the corners, I'm good right here. I'm not losing the other one. You get hit there too as a guy, that's one spot in your body. You don't even swear when you get hit there. Like anywhere else, when you hurt yourself, you always go on like a swearing rampage. And you say you just go to the kitchen to grab a glass of water, you come beetling in. <laughs> Lean down, you stub your head on this mic stand that's in a shitty place. <laughs> oh, shit! Then you blame them whenever you stub your head on you like fucking mic stand. <laughs> like it was the mic stand fault or something. Oh, and now that I think of it, I don't know if you can actually stub your head either. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't have to use stub my head. Oh. Ooh, and if you ever get a bump in your hair too, you always need someone to feel that bump to verify it. <laughs> as soon as you get like, oh my god, I got a bump in my hair. Someone needs to feel this. <laughs> Jeff, wake up, what's going on? I got a bump in my hair. I feel that. Can you, thank you. Like, are there people cruising around that don't have bumps in their hair? Like, hey man, I'm doing my literature. I don't feel anything. Yeah, I know, I got life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if this pole sucks or something. You you can't see me all show, that's alright. Just sit in the hall or something. I can just hear. Please. But yeah, I got shot there. I didn't swear at all. It's like when you get hit there with a guy, it's like you get the flu instantaneously. Like I was wearing a cuff and everything, but I went to make a save. My leg came up, it came under. It was like, Whales are calling me back. <laughs> to my defense, I come skating in, he's a little snow plow, I'm hunched up in a little ball. I was like, woo, Taylor, buddy, you took that one right to the Piagras, eh? <laughs> and here's his advice to me. He goes like, oh, I just uh, skate that one off. <laughs> really? Just skate that one off? That's going to make my nuts feel better? And I'll cut the lap. It's all right on. My nuts feel fantastic. <laughs> You, Dr. D, you feel good. It's good. You guys go to great hockey school here. This is good. Yeah. I bet you guys had to Jonathan Tate was here a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And you ever notice, too, like, uh, you ever see how speed skaters skate, like, right off the hop? If that's the fastest way to skate, like, Right off the hop. How come you never see like a left winger or a right winger line up like that in a face off? And hey, just deep in the defensive zone, you need to break out real quick. Then to the game, and like, hey man, again, look, you win the draw. For now, if you be looking for me, I'll be busting out the wing. Uh. <laughs> oh my, hurry, quick, get kicked out of the draw. Tap on the draw. <laughs> in the draw? Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> and hockey, too, hardest sport to streak at out of like all major sports. <laughs> You get like baseball, football, you know, you just get down to the field level, you streak, it's easy. But hockey, you got like the plexiglass looped around, and that's tough to get up, unless you got like suction cups with you to get up there. <laughs> that's an awkward boost ad from someone. <laughs> that's not the greatest view after you give someone, there you go, ball, right on, nice balls and tank, there you go. <laughs> There was the one guy who tried, it was at a uh, Boston Bruins game, this guy with the streak, 
gets naked, he's at the top of the plexiglass, and, and when he went to get over, he got his leg caught. He fell, took a header, knocked himself out. <laughs> Like that, that's the worst streaking ever. <laughs> and not a, a great place to be for a guy that's buck naked on a sheet of ice. <laughs> but they show it on TV because it's funny. But you got to censor, right? Because you can't show twig and berries on TV. So what do they do by censoring it? All they do is they just blur out his crotch. <laughs> I'm looking at that thinking, hey, Taylor. You should streak. I talk to myself, man. You should. Man. <laughs> Except what I would do when I'd streak is before I went out there naked like that, is I would grab a marker and I would write something on my leg. And I'd write something really offensive on my leg. <laughs> and I'd write it from like my crotch to my knee. <laughs> yeah, and it'd be so offensive you'd have to blur that out too. 